I am standing in the middle of a floodplain. As a matter of fact, there's a good chance that you live in a floodplain and you don't even know it. Floodplains are low-lying areas surrounding rivers and creeks that often extend to the edges of valleys like we see here in Mission Valley. When it rains, all of the water from higher elevation areas surrounding a floodplain makes its way down to the river, causing the water level to rise. This is a very natural and well understood process. What isn't natural is the massive commercial and residential hubs that we've paved over local floodplains, which can become submerged during major rain events, causing threats to people and property. If you ask me, you know, we, we wouldn't even build anything in the floodplain. The situation is worsened by impervious surfaces such as concrete, which create more surface runoff by preventing water from seeping into the ground. So the question is, is there a way to facilitate the natural flow of water in these areas while making it safer for the people who live there? For starters, we could take a look at San Diego's $3.7 billion projected funding gap for stormwater infrastructure needs. This repair backlog is a huge reason why neighborhoods in southeastern San Diego, which are located in the Choyas Creek floodplain, consistently flood when it rains. Landowners could also adopt more green spaces, like this river park near Snapdragon Stadium. The old Qualcomm Stadium, that was actually one of the terrible ideas massive massive amount of parking spaces all impervious but now they're also building this river park so not every square foot of the area is impervious with asphalt or concrete but first we must recognize and accept that the river does in fact exist this would be probably the most recognized part of the town in any other culture. It is sad that we only talk about it when the river kills people. 